Hi everyone, and especially welcome all Vizio television owners. You're probably here because you have a failed power supply board for your television. Today on my workbench I have such a board. It's a Delta branded, labeled DPS 167 DP. It's from a Vizio television. I picked it up today for free because it's defective. Uh, there was a posting on Craigslist from a fellow in my neighborhood here that had it and he was giving it away for free after he replaced it. So I decided why not? I'll go get it. I'll go check it out. So I uh, picked it up this afternoon and then in my spare time I had a couple quick looks on YouTube to see if there was anything uh, relatively close to this and there was a few videos that kind of gave me some hints on what to do, what to look for. But in any case there was none specifically for this board so I decided I'd, I'd uh, document this little bit of work. So the first things I did when I got the board is I checked to make sure that uh, the fuses and the um, surge suppressor, surge suppressors are okay and they all look good. Uh, the fuse is good. If you look at my meter here, I have it on ohms. Um, the fuse reads zero ohms. Uh, as well, I checked all of the FET and the power transistors and the SCRs and everything there looks good. No direct short circuits. I also checked all the capacitors to see if there was any bulging on them and did a quick ohm meter check of them to see if they would uh, charge up and charge down and they seem to be okay. It's not a definitive check especially when it's in a circuit but it gives you an idea. But without the bulging uh, top sides everything looked relatively normal. I can't uh, say that until I do further testing anything's wrong, anything is wrong there. The other thing I started checking on is the, are the, the, the Schottky diodes and the diodes that are on the board and over here is one of the big rectifier diodes which I checked out and it seems to be okay according to the meter. It's not short circuited and uh, it's given me a proper reading when I, I test it. So uh, on the surface it looks okay but there's another big diode right here and when I checked it out it appears to be short circuited. You can see my meter there reading uh, 0.3 ohms. I'll flip the meters around just to make sure and still there's 0.3, 0.4 ohms. So that's the first thing I need to go look at. I'll pull that diode out, make sure that it's okay, make sure that it's not being affected by this relay here and uh, I'll uh, do a follow-up video on that once I have it removed. I have uh, I have my desoldering tool at the ready so that uh, when it's good and hot I'll desolder that diode, take some measurements on it and come back. We'll stop it here for now and I'll be back shortly. All right, folks, we're back. Uh, I have successfully desoldered and removed from the circuit board the Schottky diode that I felt was uh, bad. Uh, it measured bad on the board, so I removed it. It went in this position. I will say that it was not an easy chore, even with my paste desoldering tool, to get it out of there. I had to enlist the help of someone else to help me pull it out. Uh, it's actually mounted on some pins or some through hole pins that are on each side and one of them has a um, ferrite bead on it but as you may be able to see probably not though I still have some solder work that needs to be cleared out of those it just isn't being sucked up by my desoldering tool so I might have a bit of a chore getting that uh, the fresh diode back in there in any case I've got the diode out I've got my own meters on the ohm range and as you will be able to see here when I measured this way the diode is short circuited and when I change polarity on the diode uh, it is still short circuited so definitely it's a problem. Uh, I did go ahead and I checked all the components in this general area. I, I looped them, I used my meter to check them out, the capacitors seem good, everything there is normal. I can also look on the back side of the board and the back side over here uh, there's a number of components, some uh, uh, surface mounted transistors, resistors and capacitors. I checked every one of them out uh, to make sure that everything looked okay and sure enough they look fine. So it looks like we just lost that one diode, it just opened up. 
The diode itself is a SB2100. It's labeled as D950B on the circuit board. Uh, the circuit board shows a parallel diode to it, but it's actually not there. I've actually desoldered the holes just to see how big they were, but the, the, the diode is not in place there. So the, the other side of the board, I'll flip that over once again. The other side of the board here shows it on the silk screening, but it was not there and neither are the mounting studs. So I'll go ahead and order up some diodes. I found them on eBay just quickly, quickly. Uh, the data sheet says that they are two amp Schottky diodes. I went to eBay and uh, for, <laughs> you know, like uh, I believe it's a dollar twenty-three for a pack of twenty. So I'll splurge. I'll bring in a pack of twenty. It'll take a couple of weeks to get here, but I'll have some for spare for the future. Uh, two amp Schottky diodes, SB twenty-one hundred, location D nine fifty B. I'll leave it at that for now, and wait for the diodes to arrive. When they do, I'll finish up this video. Thanks for watching.